Loving the range of the vocals. Wow. Wow. This is really making me emotional. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Perron here. In today's video, we're checking out Mrs. Green Apple. We've had tons of requests on the channel to check out Mrs. Green Apple, uh, so we're getting around to it. I don't believe I've heard much from this artist before. So yeah, today we're going to be looking at a dance hall. Uh, Bakuno Koto and also Inferno. If, as always, we leave one reaction for Patreon. So today we got Inferno. If you'd like to check out Inferno, it's over our Patreon, as um, along with tons of other exclusive reactions. Oh man! Oh, this is a tune. I feel like I've heard this in like an anime opening or something like that. I must have. Oh, this is a great track. We're gonna be breaking this down from more of a music producer's perspective. I'll be letting you guys know what I find interesting about the songs. And uh, yeah, let's get into it and check out um, Mrs. Green Apple. All right, and first off we got Dancehall. So I actually find out this is a like a three member group. So I'm guessing that's, that's the three of them. Ooh. Okay. Uh, first off, I gotta say, I love the harmonizing on the vocals with those nice guitars that are playing panned left and right. We also got those big synths that come in right in here, in the right ear. And the backing vocals. Woo. Is this gonna be like a disco vibe? Okay. That is definitely very smooth to start off, but the transition from the intro into this uh, verse, right? It was very interesting. We've got that fill. And we've got those brass instruments that come in. And then we go into it. Okay. I love how balanced the instruments are. Ooh. Oh man, that guitar pan to the left, all the way left, is really is really tingling my ear, but that bass is super smooth. The way it kind of just came in without... Yeah, right there. We actually have more guitars here, okay. Wow, the vocals are pristine. Ooh. Oh, okay. There's, uh, there was like a cool wawa effect that went on the guitars for a second, and uh, maybe the backing vocals too, or like a phaser. Yeah, for sure. That's a cool change. Okay. Oh, this is such a feel-good song, right? I was gonna say I love the contrast between those smooth bass guitars and those kind of raspy uh, brass instruments, right? Um, but then in the main chorus here, we're actually going from like a... Uh, we actually have a different rhythm, right? On the drums. And it goes into fourth to the floor. Oh man, the back of the bubble. I'm not sure if this is like uh, the main uh, person singing. Um, because I feel like the others do backing vocals. Maybe we'll hear more of them. But I really like his texture of the vocals. They're very soothing, very very uh, soft, and I would say almost quite distinct, right? Yeah. Woo! Cool transition. <laughs> uh, I think this is the main vocalist, but this transition was uh, very cool. What they did is they kind of took out the EQ from the high ends, so we can only kind of hear the muffled sound on those trumpets, right? 
and the guitars, and then it kind of opens. Mm. Woo! Okay, that was very pretty. Oh yeah, I like that. With the different layers of vocals panned left and right, but very interesting choice of mixing. The drums aren't like really ahead of the mix; they're really kind of sitting along with the other instruments. Uh, same thing with the vocals; they're not really like going uh, way too loud. They're slightly ahead. Again, we've got that phaser effect on there. Ooh, we got a flute. And we got the chorus. You can really tell how many different layers there are in here, right? Um, but yeah, real quick, there was a flute in there. Right there. Pan to the left. It's a very interesting track, for sure. And we also have a, a clap here, so instead of having like the snare um, that plays throughout the whole song, we have a clap. I'm guessing it's layer of the snare. But yeah, with the clap on two and four. Woo! Loving the range of the vocals. Wow! Okay, that was super nice. As I said, I love the range of the vocals. He just does something crazy. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, right there. Okay. We're having a little transition here. With yeah, we got this kind of... Kind of classic down sweep, right? It goes... With white noise. And uh, we take out the vocals. We're only left with the guitars and the drums. Yeah, those claps have a lot of reverb on them. Pow. Pretty big. Woo! Okay. That was a cool change up. We had more of like an electronic sound. Um, I'm guessing it's a MIDI, electronic MIDI bass and also like a cool glitch sound effect. Yeah. And we got that kind of more of a chunkier MIDI bass came in. Nice, pia nice piano. Yeah, that phaser on the vocals. Or something. It's such a groovy song, though. Woo! Changing up the last chorus a little bit. Such a good vibe on it, but really here, just before we go into the main chorus, we can really tell how much of that phaser is on the vocal. Right there, so much of that phaser. Yeah. Love how we go like almost an octave higher there. Oh, pitch higher. The key's going crazy. Yeah, okay. Dance hall. There was a couple things that I found very interesting, uh, like that phaser effect on the vocals there. Um, just kind of played uh, throughout the song, but only on specific sections. Um, like here we can hear it especially especially before it drops yeah here it's very prominent yeah the instruments were mainly just guitars pianos uh, drums we had that smooth bass we also had some electronic instruments like that uh, MIDI bass that came in for a while, uh, cool little like glitch effects on there. And also we had the flute, only like one section I could hear it. Um, and uh, 
almost felt like two different sets of snares. We had those claps and the snares. I, I gotta say, I really like the vocals. I love the range and how smooth the vocals were, you know? Uh, it went, went really nice with this song. It was more of like this groovy disco uh, dance track. All right, and now we've got Boku no Koto. I think. Ooh. Like I said, that vocal is so iconic almost. It definitely feels very distinct. Um, something about like the texture. Yeah. I have a feeling it's going to be a sad song. Woo. Can I really tell how far he pushed the vocal here? Yeah, right there. Such a nice contrast with that guitar, that goes to guitar in the back. Um, the vocal is a lot louder than the guitar, right? But um, I'm guessing this might be a ballad or something. Probably like some soft drums gonna come in. Oh! The drums are not soft. Damn, the drums are very crispy. Wow. I love how the drums are recorded. They sound so crisp. You can hear every cymbal. Um, you know, every hit on the drums. So we also had like another guitar that came in on the right. Yeah. And now it almost feels like the instruments kind of overtook his vocals um, in volume, right? Now the instruments are definitely way louder than him. Yeah, and the build up. Woo! Oh, wow. I was not expecting this. Wow. Such like beautiful contrast between this dark, like black and white, even the video, not even the music, but. Even the video between that and this, where we have like these um, military snare rolls on the snares. Um, and even his vocal changed. I love that transition between those two different contrasts. And it opens. Yeah. Again, yeah, we're getting those brass instruments playing the melody in the back too. Feels like the guitars opened a lot more. Definitely a lot more layers on the vocals too. Uh, in the previous section, it definitely felt like it was just like one recording, one layer of the vocals. Here we, we have uh, definitely more layers. Very interesting choice for the drums. Oh wow! That is beautiful! I love how much it opened compared to that beginning. It was almost felt, you know, claustrophobic with like that one guitar and the one vocal and then it opens into this beautiful chorus with the whole band behind him. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, very interesting choice for the snare rolls in here. Now we get the guitars. Oh man. I love the panning on here. So it kind of 
uh, what you try to do when you pan instruments in a song like this, more of a um, rock song or any song really, but mostly in like rock songs, um, you try to kind of like you try to you kind of try to replicate how the stage would be when you're watching them, right? So we have a guy on the left of the guitar, we got a guy on the right of the guitar, and same with the headphones, we've got them panned left and right, and then we got the drums in the middle. Same with the vocals in the middle, right? So they're not panned left or right. Um, so yeah, you're kind of trying to set like this uh, imaginary stage in, in the headphones with the panning, which is really cool. There, there's a piano there, but it's just not pushing through. I can, I can barely hear it. It's overtaken by the guitars. Yeah. The guitars are definitely drowned in the reverb. Got that trumpet again, or brass instrument. With violins! Wow, I actually didn't realize there's violins in there. Yeah. Now they you can really hear them here. They kinda creep in. And we're back into what we started, huh? For the guitars. Wow. We got that very pretty piano with uh, acoustic and an electric guitar. Quite a bit of reverb on there. Wow. I love how personal it got. So yeah, now we have the snare. Instead of playing the snare, you know, just playing the rim, which is really, really cool. Again, those violins that came in. Wow. 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 Yeah, this is an incredible song. I love it. I love how full of emotion it is. And just before we go into this uh, chorus, yeah, I just love how it goes from, again, this kind of soft to harsh uh, contrast. Yes! That bam bam with the guitars and the drums. Yep. So many layers in here. Nice. Woo! A little bit of a change up in there. Incredible vocals. Wow. Oh. And we're back into this. Oh man. The lyrics are so sad though. 
That's a cool instrument. And it just goes into this pretty and full chorus. Wow. This is really making me emotional. This is insanely beautiful. Love how you can hear even the breaths. It's compressed vocals. Wow. That was a beautiful song. I love the whole contrast between like those simple... Uh, acoustic guitars and his vocal into like this big bright chorus with the drums with the guitars and like almost like the message in the song as well you know kind of goes from like this loneliness sadness into like this more of a happy chorus uh it's a cool play between those two contrasts in the verse and the chorus but yeah but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy that reaction and the breakdown to mrs green apple if you'd like to check out inferno that's already over at patreon alongside with many many other reactions if you'd like to check that out and support the channel yeah i want to say thank you very much to all the lovely patrons of our patreon for supporting the channel special shout out to Deshaun, nicole noah and roba for being the top tier patrons thank you guys so much and thank you so much for watching the video so yeah stay safe much love i will see you guys in the next one take care peace and